Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of December general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So my fellow Geminians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, when I was meditating over the energy, the song that I got was Where Did Our Love Go by the Supremes. Now, in that group, you had a Cancer, Aries, and a Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Aries, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visual. Also, these could be time frames, okay? Um, you have Aries, well, Pisces is first Pisces, February, March, Aries is March, April, and then Cancer is June, July. So if there was an ending, it could have happened during that time. Because and it makes a lot of sense because the name of the song is Where Did the Love Go? So it's like around that time, things could have ended. And I feel like somebody's feeling like, okay, why weren't we able to fight for this? What, where did it go? What happened? What happened to us? I feel like somebody could be thinking that right now. It could be you, but I don't really get it's you. I get that it's the other person. Okay? Because in this song, you know, she's pretty much, they're pretty much trying to figure out like what happened? What's going on here? Like why, why are we in this state? But the overall message that I heard when I was meditating is that you, that's why I said, I feel like this is the other person. I heard very clearly, you've healed, you're shining and evolving, and they're miserable about it. Now, this is not a bash to anyone because I'm not saying that we want anyone to feel any type of horrible way. I'm just telling you the energy that I picked up. Because when you're healed and evolved, you don't want to see people suffer or struggle or go through hardships. I'm just picking up that this person... They're seeing you're shiny, you're out here, You especially if you're very present on social media, you don't have to be posting every single day. It just could be one of those things where every single time you post, they see the glow around you. They see that you're shining. You, even if you're not posting pictures of yourself, if you're posting memes and things like that or videos like positive affirmations and things like that, this person sees that you're evolved and you're healing and they're miserable because they're like, they're not there yet. They haven't reached the place that you are currently residing in emotionally, spiritually, okay? They're not there. So I feel like this person is um, reminiscing, okay? They're going through some type of, it just seems like they're going walking down memory lane, if you will. And they want it back, but it, 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 they want the connection back, but it could be for all the wrong reasons because they feel like, first and foremost, I'm getting that this person could have been very codependent on you or you both could have been codependent on each other. That is what I'm hearing very strong. You both could have been codependent on each other in one way or another. Energetically, physically, financially, okay? You guys had different codependencies with each other. Nonetheless, you have healed from it. This person has not. And when they see you shining, it's just like the moth to the flame. Now that they see you shining, they want that connection back. So let's see what we get for us, Gemini, Summer, Rise, and Venus individuals. Let's see what I get for us, Okay. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the lovers. And then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for those cards. Bottom of the deck. Hello. Hello. Okay. You got the magician. Major arcana for who? None other than Gemini. Gemini and Virgo. You guys have manifested a brand new start. Okay. You guys are doing major healing. Okay. Because the magician is also a healer. Okay. He has every single tool available to do his bidding, to do his or her bidding and work. And it's healing because whenever you can use your gifts and abilities, you can heal certain things in your life, certain things in other people's life. Okay. Some of you guys are literally, um, working with nature is what I'm getting like herbal or what do you call it? Herbology, herbology. That's, that's something that I'm really big on too. I, I like natural stuff. So some of you guys can actually be physical, heal, heal your physical body and heal your physical body. Is making you shine. It's making you glow. You see that glow? Also, that green planet. Green is the a number, of, the color of healing. It's the color of healing. And so, a lot of you guys are doing some major healing. You are the one that's that's bringing this healing in. Someone could be a life path for a person number one or eight as well. Okay? So, let's get into it, Jim. Oh, yeah. Huh. You guys got some good stuff coming in. For sure. Healing, healing, healing. Okay? Abundance is headed towards you. The rabbit talks about abundance, luck. Okay, fertility, and then you have the lion right here, and then you have this monkey. You guys are stronger, and the monkey business is leaving the picture. No more monkey business. You are manifesting nothing but positive stuff during this new cycle because it's a circle. Circles are always cycles, okay, for sure. So let's see what we get for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. This person feels left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. Um, let's see. 
and the group you did not have an earth sign it could be earth sign or something that ended in earth sign season yeah you got strong earth sign stuff so you got Taurus, Real Capricorn, Capricorn here with the devil. I do feel like this person is going to try to find their way back into your life. Somebody from the past is going to try to find their way back into your life. And also codependency. That's why I said some of you guys had to leave a codependent relationship. Um, and you, you've healed, but this person has not. So they may try to slither their way back into your life. Because I'm definitely seeing a snake. It's interesting because I have a snake on my finger right here. For me, when I'm wearing the ring, the snake, that's the, for me, that's Kondalini and transformation. That's that's my interpretation of it, and that's why I wear it. But for some of you all, because I did notice that when we were looking at the devil, this person is just full of shit, okay, for sure. Now, some of you guys could have an earth sign trying to come in, or this person could be trying to come back in Capricorn season because, of course, Capricorn is earth. Now, that's December, January time frame. Bottom of the deck, you got the hangman. Yeah, this person is refusing to let go. You guys have very strong energetic cords. Some of you guys need to do some cord cutting, okay? I'm just going to tell you that right now. Because this is a major arcana, which is a definite. Hey, man, this person is definitely still stuck in your energy. Even though you've healed, you know, this person, you need, and you're, you've healed, right? But I'm feeling like on a 3D level, on a spiritual level, because it's a spirit, you need to cut energy cords. You need to do that. Because those cords are strong. Those are chains. So those cords are very strong. For some of y'all, there is definitely there was definitely an attachment to financial stuff, and you were just like, okay, I don't care. I'm releasing this so I can release this person and heal. Okay. So we want the lovers. Yes, you guys cut somebody off. You guys cut somebody off. Okay. So again, we want the lovers. There we go. This happens soon. I'm telling you. So you have the lovers right in front of it. You have the eight of pentacles. And I say you guys are putting in the work. The eight of pentacles, the actual nine to five, putting in the work. You guys are focused on yourself. There's so many different pinnacles here, but he has tunnel vision. He's focused on that. You guys are focusing on yourself, working on yourself. And again, because you have pinnacles here, I feel like as you're working on yourself, this person may try to come back in in Capricorn season. And then also, as you are working on yourself, you are realizing how creative you are. You have different, you, you could be really focused on your money as a way to rein you in and keep you from reaching out to this person or connecting to this person. Also, your money has gotten better, and that's why... You were able to release this attachment to this person. You got your energy, and then right behind it, you have... Oh, 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 I like this. I want you guys to see this. You have the Emperor, Nine of Pentacles. You got the Eight of Pentacles here. You guys are evolving, going from the Eight to the Nine. Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man, but not for long. You got the Emperor here, and the Empress here. Okay? Some of you guys may have been single since September or for nine months. Whatever the case, you have divine counterparts here. Which means as you are glowing up and focusing on yourself, focusing on building yourself, focusing on tending to your garden, you are drawing your person in. This is a divine counterpart. That's very powerful. For some of you guys, it could be the Aries. Okay, the Emperor's Aries energy. You also, if you are single, you can meet this person in Aries season. And I did mention that in the Supremes, you have an Aries. Miss Diana Ross happens to be an Aries. You can be meeting somebody who has Ross in their name, first, middle, last. Diana. I also heard... um. Dane, D-A-N-E, Dane or David. Bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands, Gardeners, Defensiveness, Protection, trying to fight people off. Um, some of you guys could be fighting off things that just feel heavy so that you can focus on you, focus on your well-being, focus on your money. Also, blockages are being lifted as well as what I'm hearing. I'm also going to tell you, for some of you guys, when a new love interest comes in, you may feel very guarded or this person may come off as very guarded. But I feel like sooner than later, this connection is going to be realized that this is uh, destined to fade it. This person going to have the first, middle, or last initial of C, G, M, W, um, T, E, or R. First, middle, last initial for this person, not you. You can have those initials too, but I feel like this person will have those initials as well. So let's part the deck. Look, whoo hoo World card, travel distance for a movement. You guys got somebody coming in. I'm telling you, you did not say what I got in the meditation is you've healed. You're shining. You're evolving. And this person is miserable. But see, you're protected. She's in that bubble, that reef and bubble of protection. You're protected. You are moving on. The world is all about travel. You're moving on and this person is miserable about it. And again, it's not to perpetuate and play up on this person's misery and things like that but i feel like you're gonna sense it that's why i'm bringing it to you because i feel like you guys are gonna sense it you're gonna feel like this person is trying to draw you back in but see you're protected here you're right here in this bubble of protection the universe is protecting you could be associated with a leo taurus aquarius or a scorpio 
So let's get the clarifier for the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify for the Eight of Pentacles. Look at that again. <laughs> All this energy, Will of Fortune, Major Arcana energy, very powerful. It's already written. Every single one of these characters have a book. It's already written that the blockages must be removed. The right is something trying to block you and keep you from moving forward. In reverse, it's like blockages are being removed. And it's already faded and destined. It's going to happen. It's happening now. For a lot of you all, you've done that healing. I'm telling you, you're already in portal of things moving forward for you. And I told you, you won't be single for long. Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. The second time you got the Nine of Pentacles, you will not be single for long. You won't. So let's get a clarifier for the Eight of Pentacles. Clarifier for the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Okay, look, I told you, you won't be single for long. You keep getting the Seven of Wands. Now, some of you guys could be a life path or a personal year seven. Okay, seven is also a number associated with spiritual awakening as well. If there was blockages with your spiritual evolution, and remember I said, the message I got is you're healed, shining, and evolving. If you had things blocking you from evolving spiritually, you've been putting in the work. You may have been studying about spiritual or cult type of topics, and it's allowing you to move forward. And as you're healing and moving forward, you are drawing in your soulmate. You are drawing in your divine counterpart. When we have blockages... We can't call our person in, our divine person, the person, because this is going to be a very spiritual connection. It's not just going to be like, oh, we live together. We got to pick a white fence and a beautiful house and a dog and so-and-so kids. Mm -mm. This is going to be something that's going to feel so faded, so destined. You're going to know immediately. The draw is going to be very strong. It's going to feel like, where have you been all my life? Waiting for this to get out the way. Okay. So let's get a clarifier for the emperor. Yep. You got the tower of verse, Aries again, and Scorpio. Um... I'm telling you, somebody's coming into your life, and they're going to make the living fine. Now, I'm just being real with you right here. And I'm going to say also, you can have somebody who's trying to come back in. Because some of you guys, it could be an Aries X, okay? Someone rising Venus, Aries X. Just put it where it applies, because, you know, we have to flip it. There's multiple storylines here. Um, and you, if you have an Aries X, this person going to try to come back. With the tower reverse, it's like, I don't want this to end. I don't want this to be over. I, I don't want that. Let's get a clarifier for the emperor. Clarify for the emperor for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, okay? And it landed in between these two cards. Hmm. So, too little, too late is what I just heard. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. In reverse, it's like too little, too late. It doesn't matter what you try to come back and offer me now. I don't want it. I want this. Why do I want a knight when I can have an emperor or empress? And that's exactly the energy that I get for you guys. You guys want nothing less than... Complete and total fulfillment and happiness. We know that everything won't be perfect in relationships, but I feel like this person is perfect for you. They they check so many of your boxes that you forgot you had boxes. Okay, you you marking stuff that ain't ain't no boxes there. You just marking like yep yep they fit that. You know, somebody was playing games. Somebody did not see your value because pentacles hold value, and it's like if there was things blocking and obscuring your vision, like the wands could have been covering your vision. You're seeing things clearly now. He's right there out in the open, clear. You know, you're seeing things clearly now. And again, I'm going to say, you are healed and this person is not. They still got work to do. The Eight of Pentacles work. Now, for some of you guys, this, this past person could be a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. We did have Virgo earlier on with the Magician. You know, the Magician is Gemini, Virgo. So, it, it could be an Earth sign or something that ended with someone in Earth sign season as well. I always put that in that in the equation also. Okay, whatever the case, you guys are healing and they are not. Somebody's not healed. You got the you got the emperor up right here and then you have the empress in reverse. Somebody's not healed. You got Libra, Taurus, and I said Earth, Libra, Taurus, and also Aries. Okay, so I'm gonna say again, somebody's not healed, but I don't feel like it's you. Regardless of what your gender is, I don't feel like it's you that's not healed. I feel like you you are here. You you here. You like all right. I'm here with the universe. This this other person is not healed. It's taking them a long time, if at all. They may not be working on their healing. They need to. They need to. They may be letting distractions um, bother them, but that's not your issue because you're healed and you're evolving. And you're calling in a divine counterpart is what I'm getting. Okay? So, Gemini, Summer Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.